Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of the Sim videos. As you can see I am dressed up for holiday because we're stuck in lockdown so I thought what better way to go on holiday than to take our Sharon Mitchell on a little trip where she can relax and unwind because she's fuming. Do you know why? Because she's sat at the Vic at the pub right now thinking about smelly shoes and who is she sat next to? Her husband Phil, who's currently talking to Kathy rather than her, which is not on. That's not on Phil. So I'm going to have a little girl's holiday with Sharon. And she's going to take. Who is she going to take? She's going to take Kathy because Phil can't be left on her own with her. Louise can stay at home because she's annoying. She can take her nemesis Shirley. Ben and Mick can stay at home. Kat Slater's coming. Linda and Kim. It's going to be a proper icons weekend away. So we're going to go on holiday right now. I don't care how much it costs, we're going. We've got Phil Mitchell's credit card. Sharon needs the toilet. Let's go. Okay, right. So let's see. Jungle Bungalow. We really want like the best villa. Eight bed. We're going here. Eight bedrooms. We're going to have all the men over. We're all in our holiday outfits, of course. So we've got Shirley in her lovely, lovely little red dress. We've got Kat, who apparently is wearing the same outfit as Shirley, which is not on. Who wore it best? We've got Linda in, of course, a little pink number, because that's what she loves to wear. We've got Cassie, who only ever wears her apron. So that's every one of her outfits is that apron, which is on brand. We've got Sharon, who is full makeup in a little short little dress and we've also got our Kim who's back from Scotland to join us on this merry adventure. So let's have a little look at no we don't need bug spray. Let's have a look at this villa then shall we? It's, I mean I don't know it's a bit a bit basic. We've got all the beds upstairs, it's all one bedroom which is weird. Um there's no swimming pool. Well we'll see anyway. Basically, I want Sharon to have as many romance, holiday romances as, as possible on this trip. Why is everyone so miserable? <laughs> Literally hating everything about their lives right now. Holidays off to a flying star, as you can see, with Linda. I'm going to have to take the sunglasses off so I can't actually see. Let's take the gang to the bar. We are gonna get bladdered, and then Sharon's gonna sleep with at least three people, and then we're gonna find out who the dad is to her unborn baby. What do we feel like drinking? That one's 89 slowly, and so we'll buy that, I think. Here come the girls. Kathy's a bit old, so she's um sitting down. Come on, Kat. Um, I really think Linda's like hating life right now. Right, so Sharon wants to do something romantic, okay, that is easy to do. Is there any men here than that? Who's he? Pause. Oh my goodness. I think Christian is going to be Sharon's first bit on the side. Come on, Sharon. I may have cheated slightly there, but it's worth it because we need Christian to bed Sharon. Uh, who is this woman? <laughs> yeah. Shirley, where's Shirley? Oh, for God's sake. Oh my god. Well, it's getting on quite well now, actually, their little date. I think Shirley needs to get rid of his competition, though. So, could you please find out if he's single, please? He's single. Yes. Right, come on. You can wear that cowboy hat to bed, it's fine. Linda Carter is very embarrassed. Where is she? Why is she just standing in the middle of a field? Oh, is she in a toilet? She's just standing in the toilet. You know what? I was expecting this to be like a banging holiday. Oh my god. Wait, who is he? Alex. Right, Sharon, you need to um, bed him as well. Because he's got a beard. Don't talk to a woman, Sharon. Don't talk to Alex. Oh no, they're both here now. I'm gonna bed all the men. Oh yep, he's single too. Good, good. 
We're basically recreating uh, Mamma Mia. Checking on Linda. Her and Shirley are stood by the toilets, um, just chatting. So I don't know where Kathy and Kat and Kim have gone. I'm going to get everyone back to the um, hotel room we've booked because the bar was just a flop and everyone went home anyway. So I'm going to get the man Alex to um, come with us. Look at Kathy. Kathy's honestly just going for it. I think Kat wants to go with um, Alex more than anyone else. I think we need to um, stop this. Why is Sharon's date just reading books with them? And he's interested in everyone apart from Sharon. This is like the worst holiday ever. I thought I'd pick like the most expensive place for holiday and it's just awful. And upstairs it looks like a concentration camp where all the beds just lined up and there's no swimming pool and there's just one radio where you can all just dance in a line. And everyone just sits on the sofa and watches you. But I paid good money to come here. And I can't even get Sharon to hook up with one person. Like, he'd rather dance with Shirley than... I'm going to end the holiday early, actually, because nothing ever works. When you leave Albert Square, it just flops completely. So I'm going home early because I don't like the accommodation. I'm not paying, I'm not sending a tip. Phil's just alone in the Vic by himself. I'm going to get Linda and Mick to tend the bars. And what Sharon is going to do is arrange a party in the Vic on a snowy day. Will there be a murder? Who knows? Oh my god, what? Um, look at Shirley's outfit. <laughs> I think she borrowed that from Tina, so I don't think Shirley would have that one. Who is this? Louise Mitchell is dressed as a robot. Well, what's Sharon gonna wear? <gasps> Sharon's. Oh, I don't like that. Sharon's just gonna wear a ball gown because. It's her party. We've got Phil. What's he wearing? Um, he's wearing like the school uniform. This is Ben. He looks quite good actually. He's wearing like the, the pilot outfit, which I'm sure Kim and Callum will like later. We've got Kat, who looks like she's dressed up in a pizza outfit, which is fine. Kim's outfit is quite cool. She's dressed as a pirate. Oh my god, who's dressed as Darth Vader? Callum. Well, Callum. I mean, the trouble with this set is that it's just so big um, that everyone just goes everywhere. Who's dressed as a witch? <gasps> it's our cat! She always looks so sad. But at least she's out of her apron now. Oh, that's the help. <laughs> Where are they going? They're going through Bridge Street Market at the moment. Are we taking Callum to his house? We're going upstairs, people. This could, um. This could be. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, well, what I think we'll do is we'll leave those two to, um, have some fun. Sharon is loving her life at her party. Yes, it's all kicking off in the Vic. Look at Sharon just walking behind the bar. Are those two. Oh no, they're done. They're finishing Sharon out of the point of the party, Ben and Callum. Mick, maybe you could actually clean up because. You're not doing anything over there, and you're leaving everything for Linda. Look how beautiful Albert Square looks like in the snow. Now it's the evening, I think it's a better time to have another party for Sharon. But the last one ended in failure. Um, excuse me, Kat, what are you doing? Oh, Kush is going very cold. What's going on here? What's Kim wearing now? She's got like a new outfit on Kim. Loving it. Kathy's always sitting down as well. Kathy's trying to impress Callum, of course. Where is Sharon? Because she's actually freezing. She's going to die in a minute, I think. Oh my god, pause, what, 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 who's this? It's that stupid ghost again. Why is Pat and Peggy not here, is what I want to know. Sharon's freezing to death. Oh my god, quick, change her outfit. Go to the bar, quick. Why is Sharon dying? She's an original. Why is Kush talking to ghosts? Sharon wants a latte at her own party, her own dance party she wants a latte. You're right there, Callum. You don't think you should be eating that? No. Lovely and cosy the Vic looks. I don't know who this ghost is, but I don't want them here. I want the ghost of Pat and Peggy here, not him. So, out of all these people, I think Shirley would be the one who could scare off the ghost. 
love looking in all their houses and just seeing what they're doing. Like, Phil's obviously looking at porn because he's at home alone. And then we've got Kathy who's in Mel's house, talking to Sharon. Kush is dancing to impress Pat and Peggy. Kat and Kim. Oh, another unsuccessful party. You know what? These parties... Because Albert Square is so big, it's actually impossible to have a good party, especially when this stupid ghost keeps turning up. And especially when I want Pat and Peggy's ghost to turn up, and they don't, even though I'm trying to force it to happen, but it won't. So, I've had a flop holiday, I've had a flop fancy dress party, and a flop house party as well. So I don't know what to do. The only thing that's happened is Ben and Callum had sex in the shower, and I didn't even ask them to do that. I think Albert Square had its time. So I'm going to leave it there. Real life, I can't go on holiday, I'm still in lockdown. I tried to replicate it in Albert Square and it doesn't work. So that's um, my life. So let me know in the comments below what you would like as another idea for me to do in The Sims. Um, something that may be easy and maybe could involve the ghost of Pat and Peggy.